Gradient Correction is a tool created as a complement to the Mars Project. It aims to model and remove additive gradients in astronomical deep sky images using multiscale and statistical analysis techniques. Gradient Correction is, therefore, an entirely algorithmic and parameter-based solution. A gradient correction based exclusively on data from the processed image is always a matter of compromise. If we isolate the large-scale structures of this image with the Multiscale Median Transform Algorithm, or MMT for short, we obtain an image where the most extensive objects are still represented. Not only the brightest nebulae remain in the image, but also the faintest ones. Gradient correction minimizes the impact of these structures in the gradient model with its statistical and multiscale analysis, achieving even better isolation of the large-scale gradients. We can compare the results of subtracting both models from this image. With the simple use of MMT, we cause an overcorrection around the nebula. And we also flatten the weaker nebula. With gradient correction, we avoid this overcorrection and correct only the gradients without flattening the faintest nebulae. The statistical analysis is performed by detecting and protecting dark objects with these two parameters and bright objects with these other two. To see how it works, we will turn off the entire structure protection and apply the tool with default parameter values. In this image, the gradients are corrected quite well with the default values. The tolerances tell us how much we protect the objects so that their light does not become part of the gradient model. And the thresholds tell us what areas from those objects we should protect. If we increase the tolerance, we will see that an overcorrection progressively occurs in the outermost areas of the galaxy, something that is especially noticeable in the area between the spiral arms. On the other hand, if we increase the threshold, the external areas are entirely unprotected and their light will become part of the gradient model. Therefore, the overcorrection will grow to cover almost the galaxy's core. We will see the protection of dark objects in the second part of this tutorial. The scaling and smoothness parameters define the complexity of the gradient model. The smaller the scale parameter, the gradient model will contain smaller structures and will, therefore, increase in complexity. In most cases, we must configure the scale parameter with a corresponding smoothness value. If we decrease the scale and the smoothness and compare the results, we can see that the gradients at the corners and edges of the image are corrected better. But in return, we cause an overcorrection in the galaxy. To apply gradient correction correctly with the scale and smoothness values, we can enable structure protection. This parameter generates a mask to apply additional protection to bright structures in the image. If we need to inspect the mask generated by the tool, we can enable this option. Analyzing the mask can serve as a guide to know if we are calculating a good gradient model and to ensure we do not create any artifacts in the image. Usually, when we turn on structure protection, gradient correction is less aggressive. Therefore, on many occasions, we'll need to enable the automatic convergence option too. In this way, 
gradient correction is performed iteratively and stops automatically when the generated model is very similar to the previous one. For example, in this case, five iterations have been applied. In the fifth one, the difference from the previous fourth is minimal, so the tool stops iterating. Now we can correct the gradients in the corners and edges, except for this slight gradient that is still partially surviving. In return, we don't overcorrect the galaxy. In gradient correction, we do not need to place any sample on the sky background as the process works on the image at a global level. This image is an example where we would need to place hundreds of samples to properly correct the gradients since there are structures at very small scales. If we apply the tool with its default parameters, we can see that some small-scale gradients still survive. Now, we lower the scale and smoothness again to achieve a better correction. And, if we need it, we enable automatic convergence. This way, we correct the gradients entirely and accurately without placing any sample on the sky background. Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside and my heart strings are pulling like the time.